Hi, this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. This is part two of our comparison between our Lincoln Electric, the Pro MIG 210, and our Longevity Pro MTS 200i. And uh, I've had a chance to go ahead and play with the, long, uh, the Lincoln here a little bit, and it's already set up, so I'll go over that and show you exactly what, what needs to be done. And uh, it's pretty easy. And then the, our, our Longevity here, I haven't set up yet, and it's, it sets up a little different. So I'm going to get that out of the way, and we're going to play with this one here right now. Be right back. Okay, here's our little Lincoln. Now, like I was saying, I already worked with it a little bit here, and it's set up, but I'll still show you what needs to be going on here. So uh, the gas is already hooked up in the back. I'm still going to run on the, the 220 current. Turn it on, let it make some noise. And uh, what I do on the inside here, it'll take the, the 11 pound spool or the, the one pound spool. And I got the one pound on there now just because I already had some wire. And it's the, the smaller wire, it's the 0.23. And then the 11 pound wire will go on there too with your standard holder for it, for the spool, which will come off because obviously the little four inch ones don't need this. So get that out of the way. Now, it's really self-explanatory when you're looking at it. It's the same mechanism for a standard MIG and uh, make sure the wire comes across the top, not underneath. And then there's a switch inside here that'll set it for the spool gun or for your standard gun. And uh, what I like too, up here you got a chart and it'll explain for the types of material you're going to be welding, so that the voltage that you want to use is in the speed and all that, and it even has the diagrams up here, which I like this. That's pretty nice. It's a, it's just a copy of what you'll get with your owner's manual anyway. So that's set up. So we'll close this, and then on the screen here, you go ahead like I was showing you with the stick welder. You just for the process of going across the bottom. You want to go ahead and set your controls. And so I'm going to be using, I'm just going to be welding some mild steel eighth of an inch angle iron to the same parts that I was welding yesterday. And so we're going to leave it at our first setting for the, for the gun. So we press that to select. We got our, our ground, our negative ground. And then the wire size. And then the gauge of the thickness of the material. So we want to go a little bit thicker than that. Yeah, 10 gauge, okay, so we're good there. Now we got our, our uh, parameters for our volts and our amps, okay? So if you, if you can see it, you'll have on both sides, there'll be the red and green line, okay? The green in, in the middle of those, the red lines, that keeps you in where you want to get close, you know, then it's up to you on how you want to have it comfortable for you. And so I've got it set up already pretty much where I want to keep it for our material. So we're good to go. It'll stay like that. Now there's also another option setting on here that you can go ahead and go past that if you want to use a different gas or just any other thicker, thicker wire and another kind of material. But for our purposes, we're going to stay like this with the mild steel eighth of an inch thick. So then we're set. We're good to go. And uh, let me go ahead and get our gun going. And the gun, it hooks up nice. It's a little light, but uh, you don't want it too heavy anyway. And um, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my material going and we'll run some beads and see how it runs. Okay, here's our examples from yesterday. We'll go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna put some little angle iron there. Nothing big. Just tack it up here. We'll see what it looks like here. Let's do a little vertical up hand. That's pretty comfortable. That doesn't look too bad. And we'll do a little dragon. Okay. 
maybe turn my wire speed up a little bit, but it seems to run. Well, let's try it. Let's go push it. And I'm oscillating it. Maybe turn my speed down a little bit, go a little slower myself. That seems to run okay. I'll finish this one off. Not a lot of spatter or anything like that, but one thing I like about with the controls, it sets your little green spot. You stay within that green spot and uh, it'll keep you running wire after wire after wire. Let me turn it up just a little bit. Still a little cold, but you figure that's the I-beam right there. That's thicker and it's going to be a heat sink on you. But uh, there's, your, there's your Lincoln, uh, the 210 MP right there. Okay, you saw the Lincoln. The Lincoln's a nice welder. Uh, so now we're going to show you the longevity of the Pro MTS, the 200i. It's the 3-in-1 also. And uh, now I put the gun on here, but I haven't hooked it up yet because I want to show you the inside of it. And uh, what it is, a little different than the Lincoln. The, Link, the Lincoln's nice. I like it. Um, even with the screen on it, you're still kind of wondering what you're getting yourself into when it comes to the welding. Myself, I'm old school. I like to have the knobs and the switches right there so I can, I can deal with them. So with the, with the um, MTS here, it'll take the 11 pound spool. It'll take the one pound. Same wire that I used on the other one. And it has the adapter right here for the spools, just like the other. It comes right off. And put the little spool back on. Make sure, now this one here, on longevity, the wire will come down. It won't come across. You can make that mistake, but you always want to do the flow of what it comes off the spool. Let me see what I got myself into. Okay, here we go. That'll go on like that. And then inside of here is your little adapter to just go ahead and keep it nice and tight right there, like that. You put that on there. And you put all that on there. So you're good to go there. And then you will run the wire through the through the feeder. Now inside the machine is where, where we have all the other switches right up in here. So if you want the remote for the TIG, put it on remote or have it off. If your spool gun, on or off. Obviously I'm using the standard gun so it would be off. Your wire feed to run it through so you're not using up your gas. A lot of people sit there and they'll just pull the gun trigger. Well where's that gas going out of the bottle? That's not a good idea. This will just make the wire go and then you have to walk back over and open and close the bottle. And then you got your little other button for just testing the gas flow. You just hit it and there you go. And then up here you have other settings, okay, for like your post flow and your, your pre flow and your burn back and your, your slow feed. Okay, that's if you want that. But you don't have to really mess with that too much other TIG welding. Okay, and then your wire set up here. And then um, if you've been MIG welding, you know how to run the wire through. But I want to show you in front of it how we set up the machine. Now, well, let me plug it in and then we'll get up on this. Now we've got the one cord that comes off of here, then you've got the other pigtail for the, for the 110 if you want to run that. But obviously we're going to keep it like it is. It switches in the back. What I like about this too is you got the front face panel. 
and it just keeps it protected. Dust, whatever, somebody wants to monkey around with it. Okay, let that warm up. Now with our guns, we got the, the plugs like, just plugs right on in. So when you run your wire through there, you want to come out about maybe a, a foot, a little bit, get it through there, and then pop it right in. It, you, you can see how it fits up. Screw it right on in. And then we've got our, our ground cables here that if you want the polarity change, you can. And then this one you don't have to worry about with the wire feed because that's where your plug is. That's for your, your TIG stinger and, or your foot pedal. Depends if you want to go on the, the 2T or the 4T setup. Now this brings us to our wire feed. Okay, I'll put the wire in later. So we want to set the button up here. You've got the wire feed, you got the, the TIG setup, or you got the stick. So we're already on the wire feed. Now the 2T and 4T don't have to worry about. We just want to have our wire speed and our voltage going on, okay? So our volts, uh, we're going to do the same material, so that's an eighth of an inch, give or take. So we want to stay about 15, 14, okay, on that, on the volts. Now your amps and your speed, that's where you got to dial in. So I got to run the wire first. When I get the, the, the metal up here, I got to do a couple zaps just to make sure I'm right. And I'll be right back on that. Okay, so we got... Our setup here, we've got our wire run. The Stinger's nice, the gun's okay. It's light like the, the Lincoln, but it's, it seems like it'll be durable. And uh, I like the pivot right here on the handle. So I've already got it tacked up. Let me go ahead and zoom in on it for you. And we'll see how this thing runs. I do the, the pull again. Be bad. I do the whip on it. And because I'm running the O two three wire on it, I gotta go a little slower. Got a little smoky on there. But that's, that's fairly uniform. Let's try vertical uphand. Still a little cold. That's why I always like to go to an 035 wire on just about anything. And uh, yeah, there you go, that looks pretty good. Well, there you go, they got the, the comparisons. It's up to you to decide. I like them both. Uh, I like the Lincoln for the fact that it's, it's sturdy and uh, it's straightforward. It's got the, the screen there that really helps you out. It's got the, the um, sticker on the inside of the door that's just like the manual. Longevity I like just for the fact that it's just lighter and it's got the strap here you can carry it around a lot easier. Um, they both run on the gas, you know, the 110, the 220. Um, didn't get a chance to show you the TIG part of it, but uh, that would be coming up. And, uh, but you saw for yourself, you know, and the, the biggest thing is the cost, and you know, I'm not going to throw you any number on that. But uh, I'm Rob, and thanks for joining me in Longevity Learning Lab, and we'll see you next time.